What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the third episode of the best builds in Shinobi Striker series on my channel. Today, we have the. Def Wait. Wait, this is the wrong game. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the third episode of the sh best builds in Shinobi Striker. Today, we have the defense type build. And, uh. I used to fucking hate defense types. I'm going to be completely honest with everybody. I used to hate defense types. I thought they were the worst builds in the game. They didn't have any good jutsu. And they were too, like, they were just, like, they, their weapons just had, did too, they were, they're just like, they were better at DPS than attack did, attack types did. I was so wrong. Because this video was really hard to make. Just like the range type video, I had a build set up. Didn't like it anymore when I went to go record this video. But I ended up finding a better build, and I enjoy this build a lot more, and I have a good game with it. So, yeah, let's get right into this build. Alright, to start off this build, what you're going to need is, I'm going to be completely honest, I don't know if this this build is going to be one of the ones that's like really t like touchy in places, like where it's kind of iffy, where if you don't have this, you don't really need it, but, uh... Yeah, let's just get right into this, just talking about how, if you don't have this, it's fine. You can obviously pair it together with other things. But what you're going to need is the Itachi Outfit Starling. You're, well, I don't know if this is the only outfit that has these abilities, but it's the one that I have that has these abilities. What you're going to need is Power and Spades, which boosts your ninjutsu damage. And then you're going to need Ready and Result, which reduces ninjutsu, re reduces ninjutsu damage taken. Just because, you know, people are fucking shooting them Majestic Destroyer Flames at you, it's going to hurt. And then Unbending Will greatly reduces your ninja ninjutsu cooldown time when your health drops below a certain amount. Which really helps with the jutsu that we have coming up, because they're already quick jutsu that come back. But it helps even more whenever you're at low health, and you're trying to get a bunch of kills before you can die. Or before you do die, not before you can die. Before you die... Uh, it would really help if you got some more kills in there, and you're or you were able to defend your flag even more. All right, next you're gonna need the water release bullet. I think this is probably the best ninja tool for defensive types, just because of how versatile it is. It does damage. It rent, it it guards a certain point on the map. It, does, it deals lots of damage. It uh, it also resets ninjutsu cooldown time and ninja tool cooldown times. Uh, so yeah, I think that's literally, like, that's, that's perfect for defense types. I don't, I don't know what else you could do for defense types. Alright, next, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need the Scientific Ninja Tool, Swirling Storm. You really don't need this. This is one of those things where you really don't need it. Uh, because, I mean, it just came out. If you're getting it, you're lucky. Because there's not a lot of stuff in the Esoteric Scrolls right now, but... It's still good. Alright, first jutsu. Snake thrust. I thought this jutsu sucked ass. Until recently. I don't know what happened. I don't know if they gave it a buff in one of the recent patches. But it's fucking good. It does hella damage. And it comes back really quickly. Only 15 seconds. And it pairs well with sand shower. Because they did give it a buff recently. Actually, I think in the last update they gave it a buff where instead of it just lowering uh, your movement speed, it now move it lowers all of your action speeds, which is awesome. That's amazing because now it lowers their attack speed and everything as well. Obviously, we're going to be using Swift, up, Swift Step on this build just because any attack type build where you're trying to move and shit, where you're trying to attack, get some more, uh, you're going to want to use Swift Step. I'm just kind of stumbling over my words. You're going to want to use Swift Step when you're using these kind of builds. Um... It's just the most versatile uh, substitution. And now, this alt does not really work well for survival exercise if you're trying to use it there. But this is probably the best build, or the best ultimate for defending a point. It nulls all jutsu, makes all of your team invincible, and cures status ailments. That's perfect. And it gives you this insane, insane defensive buff. A crazy defensive buff that pretty much makes you invincible and it reduces the substitution uh, what am I saying the substitution and the secret technique gauge and in jutsu like it knows all that it's amazing all right let's get into the gameplay I have came second the last two games all right it looks like this isn't going in the video there's too many attack types Oh, 
there was only two. I, I mistake this healer type as an attack type. How much would I bet he's using true secret orbs? Oh no, he's using shadow stitching. Hey, that jutsu was good for a while. Like That was last update though. Now it's not good anymore. I mean, it was never really that good. It was just, like, it still, I mean, it still is good. It just... The hell? Ch ch oh, Chakra Scapel. I think I don't need my Jutsu right now. Ah! Wait, where'd, where'd he go? There he is. No, that's my kill. That is my kill. Where'd he, where'd he go? Come here, pussy! You are my kill. Thank you. You're dead. Nice. I'm not even talking this game. This is like, it's a good game. I'm just not good for content. Oh, did I not? Oh, I didn't have it. Oh, shit. That's my first death. I was popping off, man. Was it six? Six and oh, I was six and oh at the first beginning of this game. Watch me lose this game and that's six and I just go six and one for the rest of the game. That's it. That's just all I go. I'd be so pissed. Dead. Come into me! Wait, pause. Your jutsu are mine! And now I have mad defense! Fucking use sand shower, what the hell are you doing? There we go. Back off! Oh, what the fuck? Okay, <laughs> I was getting upset there. <laughs> Die, you are mine, you son of a whore. That was bad. No, this is what you get for stealing. No, you motherfucker. I was trying to steal your kills. I actually don't know what scroll I picked up. I think it's... Oh, it might be the defense scroll. No, wait. The defense scroll is yellow. Isn't it? Oh, you suck, dick. Come on, come into these. Come on. Oh, shit, that guy uses an A Gates! This guy's catching up to me. Hopefully he dies. Aha, uh -huh. come on, kill him. I don't want him to get... This guy's the only person who's actually, like, putting up a chance against me right now. Everybody else is so low. Oh yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Let's go. Let's go. How did he hit me with that lariat? Yeah. 
No! Got him. Let's go. You're mine. Let's go. You know what? Just to sauce on him, use Carmel Lynchman. Use it, use it, use it. Got it. I have came second almost all day. I have not been able to get a dub all day. And now I can finally finish this video. <laughs> it makes me so happy. All right. Where did I go? Alright everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of the best builds in Shinobi Striker. Obviously today was the defense build, and obviously that leaves next Monday's video to be my favorite build in the game. My main, the healer type build. And, I mean, if you guys enjoyed today's video, drop a like, hit subscribe. And if you also enjoyed this video, come follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash MarvelousHavoc to get all of my best content that I feel that I release. Uh, yeah. We have a good community over there. We're trying to hit affiliate. I love you all. Peace.